Hey guys, welcome back to Pierre Hachet Music. Today I'm going to show you four beautiful ways of playing B7 on the ukulele, as well as some of the chords you'll want to practice to transition to and from the B7. So if you want to learn the easiest ways to play B7, be sure to stay tuned. <music> Guys, it's a hot summer day here in Montreal and I'm starting to sweat through my shirt. So I'm just going to change into a t-shirt. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the B7 chord in just a second. Hold on. Okay, let's dive right in. The first way of playing B7 I'm going to show you today is a little trickier. A couple of the versions I'll show you later are easier and I'll be able to give you some little tricks to, to get to them uh, easily with a little reference chord. But this one is going to start on the fourth string. On the in the fourth fret, okay. So top string, fourth fret, then the sixth fret with your third finger, fifth fret with your middle finger, and the pinky on the sixth fret here. It's kind of a different shape. This you see, um, these three fingers make kind of a G7 shape, and then you add your index up top. You can think of it that way. And so for this, I would practice removing it and placing it just to get a feel for that position, placing it more automatically. Look, I'm sweating, guys. It's, it's hot here. <laughs> so this is the first cool way of playing B7. The next way I'll show you is the common bar chord shape. It's a little tricky, but good to practice. You bar the second fret, clamp down hard, and add your middle finger right here on the one, two, three, third string in the third fret. That one sounds great. It's a common way of playing B7. Again, a little more challenging. You want to work on that bar. Okay, press close to the fret, not at this end, but this end. Squeezing hard, thumb in the back, and then middle finger on the third string. Beautiful way of playing B7. Hey guys, if you're getting value out of this, give that thumbs up a quick musical tap. I really, really appreciate it. And consider subscribing for tons more beginner ukulele videos. Then a nice way is also like this. So you think of your E minor chord as a reference. Many of you know E minor, and then just go up one string. So it's a little staircase starting on this note here. This is an F sharp, and that's another voicing for B7. Works great. So try that one out. And lastly, you can think of your G chord and go up one string. And this is also a voicing for B7. Sounds very similar, doesn't it? This, or this, or even this. They're all very close, right? They're just like one or two notes difference. But yeah, so a G shape, you go up. And it's this one here. So second fret, third fret, and then second fret, and the bottom string is open. A beautiful way of playing B7. Now, you'll want to practice transitioning to whichever one is your favorite. So let's say you like this one, nice and easy. Well, a common chord that would be paired with that would be, for example, like an A7 to that B7. So you can practice that transition a dozen times and then when it comes up in a song it's easy for you. Or E7 to the B7 is another common one. E7 to B7 and lastly you'll also find it very often paired with an E major chord. A little tricky. If you want to learn more ways of playing E major I'll link to my E major tutorial in the description. You can check it out there. But E major to your favorite version of B7 would be a great transition to practice. Go back and forth a dozen times. It'll really help you out. Okay, guys, if you got value out of this, click the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to learn about the B minor chord, some easier versions as well as some bar chord exercises, click on this video right here. Consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.